what about infections? What infections can cause membranous immune complex development? But infections such as hepatitis B and C, okay, why? When you have a hepatitis B and hepatitis C, what do you check for in the blood? The antigen, the antibody. If you have an antigen and antibody, you form immune complexes and they're going to deposit. That's very important for you to know. The fact that you're doing the immune complex method, right? What are the two infections? Mm -mm. Something more unique, which is going to be syphilis. Whenever you have syphilis, you have exposure of the, spiro the, the spirochete, and then you'll have antigenous exposure, and you'll have antibodies, and you're going to deposit. So syphilis can cause membranous. Apart from that, H. pylori. Apart from all the damage H. pylori does, all the problems the board likes to ask questions, it also causes membranous. Again, antigen, antibody, mediated, immune complex deposition. That's how you're going to get membranous. Now, that is secondary membranous. Right? 